Welcome back to the channel, troopers. The devs released another post unveiling the Vanguard, introducing the Guardian, a class built around being a stalwart protector and defensive juggernaut. Armed with the formidable machine guns and armor plates, they'll be able to stand firm against the horde of bugs coming their way. The Guardian is a return to the Bastion class we know and love, but taken to the next level as a static defender and providing more variety in their kit. They will be the most defense-oriented class with a focus on defensive perks. They'll be able to hunker down using their Siege mode ability, something we've seen and used already from the Bastion class. This provides a protective circle around the unit, as well as improves their accuracy with their weapons, granting improved defenses and lowered recoil at the cost of mobility as long as the ability is active. While resilient against incoming damage, they can lag behind when trying to provide support to their fellow troopers. The difference between a good guardian and a great guardian will be dependent on which structures they decide to defend and the position they decide to set their defenses up at. An example is being able to lock yourself down in a spot that allows you to unleash a torrent of firepower into a choke point where the bugs will all funnel it in, making sure no bullet spent is wasted. The guardians will have a selection of machine guns at their disposal, and after using the saw for so long, it'll be a nice change of pace to get some more options to pick from. There is a point to be made for making sure your rounds are spread across several targets regularly to maximize the impact and stun potential you have with your weapon. That said, the saw will remain the primary machine gun of choice for the Guardian, but for those looking for something new, you will have the E-Pulse 88 CSW as something to look forward to. This is the second E-Pulse weapon R&D has provided the Vanguard. It comes with a decreased rate of fire, increased damage, and potentially capable of piercing multiple targets. The sentry turrets make a return as well, keeping its place in the Guardian's tool belt. It is a placeable automated machine gun companion that no Guardian should be without. As for perks, options like synthetic under armor and hardened ceramic plates will be unique only to the Guardian, helping keep that defensive wall playstyle alive and thriving and helping keep incoming damage at a minimum. But why stop there? Introducing the Bug Pheromones perk. This makes you the center of attention for those multi-legged bugs drawing all their attention towards you, which keeps the heat off your squad mates who are not as armored and prepared for taking damage like you are. Sometimes you might find yourself being a one-man army, standing alone against the arachnid threat. Times like these is when the regenerative matrix comes to save the day, making sure you do earn your citizenship by allowing you to recover a portion of your health as long as you don't take any additional damage for a period of time. This regenerative tech provided by the Federation helps provide limitless recovery during those calm moments between incoming horde waves and deadly bug attacks. And that's it for now for the Guardian sneak peek. Being a fan of the Bastion, this class will easily be one of the first ones I personally rush to and max out upon release. I love being able to just hunker down and let loose hundreds of rounds at waves of bugs, providing cover fire for those running to extraction, or just doing my part to make sure the base doesn't get too overrun. What are your thoughts? Is this a class you would plan on playing? At the time of recording this video, that is three Vanguard classes down and three more to go. If you haven't seen the other two, the Sniper or the Demolisher, there will be cards you can click to view them now. As always, the only good bug is a dead bug.